So the landscape of our entertainment famine that we are experiencing in the West is just getting deeper and deeper. There are places that are learning to manufacture entertainment, such as Comicsgate and independent creators. But as far as the number one producer of it, you know, Hollywood and, and a lot of the, the major TV networks, they have, they have lost the ability to do this. They've lost the ability to produce the entertainment we need. And so the famine, the famine is just going to continue. Anyway, folks, I'm Last Raider, and let's jump right into this. Certain Aqua Teen Hunger Force episodes... Uh, let me try that again. Certain Aqua Teen Hunger Force, the Boondocks episodes, retired due to cultural sensitivities. Man, an and in there would be really nice. <sighs> let's go on. Brady is needs a better editor, in my opinion. But Several episodes of Adult Swim series have been permanently retired due to cultural sensitivities, according to the network, including those from Aqua Teen Hunger Force and the Boondocks. I haven't seen Aqua Teen Hunger Force, by the way. Uh, I'm kind of wishing I had, but I've seen the Boondocks. So, I mean, if I'm if we're basing this on what they're getting rid from the Boondocks, they're fixing to get rid of a lot of the Boondocks episodes or just completely cancel that series altogether. So y'all probably better get your episodes lists. Get your DVD collections now and pirate the episodes as fast as you can because they're probably going to delete that entirely. Uncle Ruckus is just the one character that they will not be able to stand for for very much longer. And I'm betting Uncle Ruckus is the reason they've done this. Anyway, the Daily Beast, which first reported on the news, noted that Reddit users had pointed out Aqua Teen Hunger Force episode Shake Like Me and the Boondocks episode The Story of Jimmy Rebel could not be found, or were only briefly found on HBO Max, a streaming service launched by Warner Media in the spring. In Shake Like Me, a reference to John Howard Griffin book Black Like Me, Shake learns what it's like to be a stereotype after being bitten by a radioactive black man. And upon reading that description, I realize I should have watched this show more religiously. I, I should, I've never seen an episode of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and I really wish I had now. <laughs> Look, think about that. I hope HBO Max's CEO sees this video. Please, I, I may send it to him because let me say something to you right now. I don't know what your name is, but honestly, that description makes me want to watch this. And I, if you had left this show back on here, if you bring that show back, I might consider ordering HBO Max <laughs> because I really want to see that. If you don't, I'll just pirate it anyway. So, I mean, that's not a big deal. In the site's description of, uh, or anyway, according to the IMBD description of the episode, that description of that episode just was perfect, short, sweet, and it makes me want to watch it. In the site's description of the story of Jimmy Rebel, Ruckus, there it is, Uncle Ruckus, finds his musical soulmate and famed racist country western singer Jimmy Rebel. Here's the thing, Uncle Ruckus is about, is about as racist as racist could get. Okay, to give you an idea, he is he's basically an Uncle Tom throughout the entire series. Uh, he believes he's a he believes he's a white man trapped in a body that has a genetic disorder which causes him to turn black and makes him get blacker as he gets older. Yeah. So consider that for a moment. According to a source, one of those episodes was accidentally uploaded HBO Max, due to a software error that was promptly removed, the HBO the episodes in question were not part of part of or <laughs> were not part of the original licensing deal between HBO Max and Adult Swim. Uh no. I think what happened was they got uploaded, and twelve psychos on Twitter probably pitched a fit. If we look hard enough, we'll probably find them, and they ended up getting the show completely canceled, because that's usually how this nonsense works. That's just the that's just the excuse they're putting out there on tele they're putting out there for the public so they can save face and hopefully stave off a Twitter mob of twelve idiots with a bunch of bot accounts. But per an Adult Swim spokesman, the twenty eighteen Shivering Truth episode, Aug Legs Inked, will return to the Adult Swim site, HBO Max in the future, after being temporarily rested. 
And I don't know what that is, because I haven't watched Adult Swim in a long time. They haven't had a lot. I watched Adult Swim when I was a kid, because they had... Bo I thought Boondocks was an anime when I first saw it. And then I realized it's actually based on a comic strip that's uh, in the papers right now. It's actually in the funny papers, Boondocks is. I believe they still are. But it, it was... <laughs> And then uh, I kind of got, I became a kind of a, a bit of a fan of the series and watched probably the first and second season. But then there wasn't enough, there wasn't enough good anime on there that I was watching at the time, or at least there wasn't anime that in, that interested me. So I just, I stopped watching, watching it and I started, you know, watching pirated anime. <clears throat> yeah, really, I, I <clears throat> still do that. So the move follows other networks and streaming platforms decisions. Over the summer, to remove episodes containing blackface, Hulu removed three episodes of Scrubs that feature blackface following the requ following requests from Scrubs creator Bill Lawrence and ABC Studios. And 30 Rock creators Tina Fey and Robert Car Carlock, alongside, with, alongside series owners NBCU Universal, asked performers and networks to remove four episodes featuring characters in blackface to be removed from the streaming and syndication. Netflix has also removed an episode of Bob Odenkirk and David Cross 2015 comedy series with Bob and David that featured Cross in blackface. Basically, it's bulldozer parenting right here. This is bulldozer. These are the kids that were bulldozer parented, and now they're emulating mom and dad. If we have a problem, if we see something that's conflict that has conflict, we're going to remove it. Even though if you look at humanity throughout history, we have excelled and gone forward through conflict making fun of each other now, let me tell you there's a there's a video on the internet that has gone around for a while that has a black man putting flour on his face and has a hispanic a white looking hispanic man putting charcoal on his face and it's like they, they laugh they hug and they're good friends they're they're just they're screwing around is what they're doing and it shows how you beat racism. The way you beat racism is you don't separate things out and make some things holier than thou. You end up creating animosity towards that stuff. Because when someone is holier than thou, you tend to not like them very much. And that's what these people are. They're basically Puritans who run around, tell everyone what they should and shouldn't think. And people begin to re not only resent them for this, but they start to resent the protected class that they can't say nothing about. This is... A lot of times, I'm going to say this because it might be sensitive, but this is how a lot of racist groups start going forward. They pick a group that has some power and or, or has what they perceive as power, and then they start, going, they start going after them to an extent because before they were pushed around by this group. The, it's the primary example would be the Klan. When they got started, uh, Reconstruction saw, and a lot of people don't know this, but Reconstruction saw a lot of black senators who were taken out of positions were now put back in positions without an election or anything held. This eventually fostered a lot of racism because when you have a person who's protected, people begin to resent them. What you do is you put people on the same level. Okay, If you can make fun of me, I can make fun of you. If you can call me a cracker, I can use the n-word. Okay, that's just, it's fair. All right. But continuing on, oh, do we continue on? Nope, that seems to be about it. But like I said, this is just, it's just, we have this group of people out there who are, like I said, they're just damn intent on taking our society and taking every single hard thing. These are people who will about damn near kill themselves preventing a child from touching a hot pot on a stove. When common people will tell you, just let the kid touch the hot pot on the stove and burn themselves, they'll learn. Okay? It's a small amount of suffering that will give a kid a lifetime that will save them a buttload of heartache in, later on in life. They're also the very same group of people who take a black kid and a white kid who have been friends up until they are seven years old and do everything they can to make the black kid hate the white kid and make the white kid sorry he's even friends with the black kid. If you don't believe me... Uh, just look a lot of that stuff up on what they teach. This this here is just, we're going to erase the history of mankind, all the heartache that we've gone through, everything that we have, we have accomplished as a people. And uh, 
humor is one of those things. Right? Humor is one of those things that bridges gaps. If we can make nine times out of ten, if you it's like a fluffy said, if you can make a highway patrolman laugh, you can not sometimes get out of a ticket because it because it makes you from oh you're a potential criminal to you know this guy's about like one of my friends you know. <laughs> but anyway, folks, tell me what you think in the comments about this nonsense. Uh, Tell me what you think about this entertainment famine that we are going through at the moment and how it is just, it seems to be getting worse in Hollywood. They have lost the secret code. They've, they've lost the recipe for entertainment now. They, they seem to have lost the old ways. In their, in their constant pursuit to make everything safer, they've accidentally burned the recipe for entertainment and success. Anyway... I'm The Last Raider. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notification. It helps this channel out a lot. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.